Hello everybody. I've had quite a few questions recently about shaft torque and what it affects. So I thought I'd do a whole video about it. So let's dive in. So really to have a, a, a very good look at what torque is actually doing in the golf swing, we need to have a gear system. So gears is going to use three different technical numbers for this, or these are the numbers I'm going to be using today. There's many different forces and torques used in a golf swing. And one of the ones we're going to see the most is what we call grip roll, or that's basically the forces you're putting on the handle. This is going to be how the grip rotates about its axis. And this is calculated in degrees per second and how fast the grip is rolling around its axis. Then we have the actual twist of the shaft itself. So if we have a negative number, that means the shaft is twisting towards the target and a positive number, the, the shaft is twisting away from the target. And then we have what we call closure rate and that's calculated in degrees per second as well. And that's how fast the club face or club head is closing to the path. So now we have all this data, let's go and have a look. Let's just have a quick look at the specifications for these two shafts. So we've got uh, the Acra TZ5, which is a 50 gram shaft. The CPM were 231, the torque was 3.5, and I used the Stealth 2 Plus head uh, with the, the shaft length being 4525. The other one's a stock shaft. I'm not going to say which, which, uh, which shaft it is because it's not, uh, not the greatest of shafts in my, in my opinion. But anyway, 51 grams. Uh, this is as close as I could get to the same CPM. So there's 222 uh, um, cycles per minute with this one. So I mean, it's, it's very difficult to have a high torque shaft with the same sort of uh, CPM as a, as a lower torque shaft. And the torque on this one was 5.8 and obviously the same head and the same length. Okay, so here we are on gears. I've got quite a few things to show you here. Uh, so on the left, we've got the high torque shaft in the yellow, and in the blue, we've got the lower torque shaft. Now I'm just going to take both of these swings down to pretty much halfway down here. And what we want to show you, or what I want to show you here, is just how the shaft is twisting to start off with. So we can see this number here. We've got a negative number with the higher torque shaft at one degree. So one degree. Negative means it's twisting towards the target at this time. And at that time, the club face is 91.26 degrees open to the target. Now we go for the blue one. This shaft is 2.31 positive, so it's twisting away from the target. And the club face is 92.64 degrees open. So pretty close to it, pretty much the same, maybe just one degree more open with the, uh, with the, la the lower torque shaft. Now just going to show you, if I just move this down slowly now with the higher torque shaft, you can see that the twist is starting to get even more negative. So this shaft is twisting more towards the target now. It was, up there we go, one, almost two degrees towards the target. So it's twisted more towards the target. But if I look at the, the current face, the face angle, it's actually 4.75 degrees open. So even though the shaft is twisting towards the target, the club head is not closing. Now if I do the same thing with the, the lower torque shaft, let's bring this down, the twist is actually now twisting more towards the target, or that it's less positive. Now if I take this right up to, uh, right up to impact, I can get that on that number, there we go. That club face is now closed. So the, the, the lower torque shaft has now even though it was twisting towards the target, has also made the, the face closed. So the higher one was slowing down the face rotation and the lower one was actually increasing it. So with the lower torque, it was easier to close that club head. Now let's take a look at this from a different angle. So now we're up above and now we have two vectors on the, on the club face. So the yellow vector is the club path and the red vector is the club face. I'm just going to move this into, in, into impact again. So at this moment in time, you can see the club face is close to the path. I'm just going to move this down. You can see now the club face is going to start to open to the path. 
So it's now open coming in here with this higher torque shaft and then pretty much coming into, into impact it's just going to start to square up. So when we get into impact we're pretty much square to the path with the, with the higher torque shaft. Now if I do the same thing now with the, uh, the, the lower torque shaft, let's scroll across here, up, you can see yet again the club face is close to the path at this moment in time. I'm just going to move this down. The club face then opens to the path. Now with this lower torque shaft, it's now going to close quicker. You can see this red angle, this red uh, red vector is now crossed over again. So we now have a, a closed face to path, and we're coming into impact. And if I get that to impact, we're just going to be slightly, well, definitely more close to uh, to uh, to the to the path as opposed to with the higher torque shaft. Can't seem to get this completely into into impact. If you look at face to path here. We've got it uh, just slightly closed with the higher torque shaft, 0.52, and with the uh, the lower torque shaft, it's actually 2.62 closed to the path. So that's definitely going to be a, a, a ball leaving slightly left and turning further left. So with the lower torque shaft, that's definitely helping to close the face. We actually scroll out a bit now as well. I can show you another thing, which is which is called closure rate. Which if I can just get these both into impact, that would be more helpful there we go so closure rate here with the lower torque shaft we've got 4.27 degrees per second and with the higher torque shaft 3.58 degrees per second so the closure rate is slower with the higher torque shaft so the the face is closing slower to the path with the higher torque shaft so yet again another proof that this uh, higher torque shaft is slowing down the club head or slowing down the rate of closure and how, how fast that club face is closing. Now if I keep going here, it's still with lots of information, but if we keep going down, we've got now what we call the grip roll, i.e. how much that, that, that grip is turning over. And you can see yet again with the, uh, the lower torque shaft, the, the, rate of the, the rate of grip roll is higher than it is with the, uh, the higher torque shaft. So, the higher torque shaft is slowing down the rate of closure, it's slowing down the grip roll and it's preventing the club face from closing as quicker than it would be with the lower torque shaft. So we just have a quick look at the, the ball data. You can see pretty much straight away that to the lower torque we've got a signed angle which is less to the right, uh, just being the face being slightly more closed to the path. And the fact that the, flows, the face was more close to the path, that's brought down the spin, it's brought down the launch angle, and it's also increased ball speed. So that's going to give us a little bit more distance just because there's more ball speed and less spin. Definitely more distance here and, and a straighter ball flight compared to the higher torque, where there we can see the signed angle is further to the right. So the fact that the face is a little bit more open, we've got some more spin, a little bit higher launch angle, and a little less ball speed. So it's uh, just, just the face angle with the, the higher torque shaft is uh, harder to close that face and that's what's giving us these, these higher spin and higher launch and less, and less ball speed.